What's up, YouTube? ODST General back again with another Operation Trebuchet news update. Uh, I do want to start off by saying apologies for no video last week. Uh, just not enough content to justify a video, unfortunately. Some community content, but uh, that will be shoved into this week's video. And uh, so with that being said, let's get into it. Uh, starting us off, I'm really thinking I should start a new segment for this because it seems like every week for like the past like three or four videos, we've had something that fits into this category of meme weapons and uh since we didn't do a video last week i've got uh two meme weapons for you guys courtesy of vespade first up is a non bullpup variant of the ma37 as you guys are seeing uh and then aside from that we have a uh, combination of several srs sniper rifles and actually this kind of looks cool this looks like something that like a gundam would use as a weapon maybe i don't know um obviously none of these are going to actually make it into the game but you know just gotta let you guys know what the development team is up to when they're uh, not working on the mod and that is your answer for more serious side of the weapons however we do have a new developer uh, demonic is uh, an entry dev now and uh, he's got some work on some different weapons that he was doing before he joined the dev team uh, so the first of that is a battle rifle he was working on uh, now with that being said since we just had a uh, another battle rifle basically go through and everything and we've got i think uh four battle rifles now three or four i'm not exactly sure what we're up to at this point i've kind of lost track with them changing and being replaced and stuff but uh we're probably not going to see this one in the game of course never say never although it's just give you guys an idea of uh what to expect from demonics modeling and stuff uh, obviously not quite up to the standard as uh, some of the other weapons, but still pretty good nonetheless. Uh, then that shifts us on over to vehicles, where we have Hollywood's uh, work continuing on with the uh, HEV pod. Um, Human Energy Vehicle pod, I don't know. Does that make sense? It doesn't matter. Anyways, the uh, HEV, you see a little bit of interior, a little bit of exterior with this. Still not finished quite yet. I'm not sure what's left to go on this. Uh, but still a nice looking model nonetheless. And if you guys didn't hear last time, uh, this will not work, unfortunately, with the Drake class. Uh, I don't know if the plan is to keep the current drop pod or replace it with a different model. Um, it was kind of sort of teased that it might be a different model coming out to replace the uh, the other ones that we would have something compatible with the Drake class. Uh, the big thing is, is that if they were to adjust the Drake class to fit these new pods, they would have to have the dog come back and you'd have to remodel it. Uh, then he would have to redo the UV wrap and the textures, and it would be just a ton of work to do all that. So it's probably realistically not going to happen. It almost at that point is easier just to have somebody model out another drop pod, like say the Halo 2 style drop pods that are completely enclosed in, which are uh, a much smaller drop pod, I do believe. Uh, and then shifting on to our next thing, we have uh, Lee, who sent me over a couple images in a DM here of his uh, work on his truck. And uh, pretty awesome. I, uh, I really like this truck, and there's a couple reasons for that. I mean, one is it's going to be used as, like, an insurrectionist vehicle, which a lot of people have been asking for stuff like that. And, uh, you know, beyond that, it just it looks kind of... Uh, well, it definitely doesn't look just kind of. It is a civilian vehicle as well. And that, for me, is even bigger because the mods pretty much lacked, like, any civilian assets outside of the Genet, I guess. Arguably a couple of uh, color variants of the Warthog, the uh, the Golden Hog, and the the Black and Yellow Striped Hog, but uh, yeah, no no other civilian assets. So this is going to be fantastic to have a civilian asset. And that's not the only thing he's working on. He's also working on an updated version of the Genet, as well as a custom semi which is heavily inspired by the Genet. Uh, both of these are fantastic looking models. I did have a couple of critiques on the uh, semi that I had suggested to him. And it sounds like he might make some changes based on that feedback. But uh, I do like both these models. I like the, the concept of the semi is fantastic, too. Uh, now, I assume that these are all going to be drivable and everything, too. Obviously, these are still fairly early on. I mean, the models are good looking, but still got to get, a, you know, the, the textures and the materials and the config and all that stuff done. Now, for a basic car, I don't know. That might be pretty easy. They might just pull from the old Jenna and just change the names and stuff. So it might go pretty quick. It might not. I, I don't know. We're going to keep going here. We got the uh, next vehicle, which is uh, from Demonic as well. Uh, this is the Jackrabbit, which is, of course, from Halo Wars 2. Now, this is personally not one of my favorite vehicles from Halo. It just never really felt practical, even compared to something like the Warthog, which has 
uh, its own practicality issues and everything. But this thing feels really impractical to me. With that being said, it is a very unique vehicle. And just for that fact, I always, you know, I'm always wanting to see all this stuff from the, you know, the games and stuff added into the mod anyways. But I think that because this is such a unique vehicle and it's a single occupant vehicle, this is going to be a blast if and when it gets completed. Uh, it's going to be pretty interesting, I think. So definitely uh, looking forward to seeing what happens with that and uh, how we might expect to integrate that into uh, mods and missions and stuff would be pretty interesting to see what people do in that regard, too. Uh, then we have a video of the Kodiak from Hollywood here as well. Now, the, the Kodiak, nothing really new or exciting here, unfortunately, to speak of. I was showing the video off for scale, but he also had next to it, and you guys are going to see this in just a moment in the video, a partial model for a gremlin. So somebody had started this on the development team that basically went into uh, development hell and just got stuck there for a long time. And uh, the model was like really old and outdated, and so nobody really went back to it. So this is a partial model, uh, and it's updated and everything. It looks fantastic, though, just what's there, even though it's very basic. So I guess the wheels, I should say, look fantastic, but... Uh, hopefully we'll actually see that get completed at some point here in the uh, not too distant future. Probably a little bit further out for that. I wouldn't expect to see that until next year if it does get continued working on, but you never know. We'll see. Uh, beyond that, then we have the uh, the Falcon, if you want to call it that. The Eagle, the Katana, I've seen it called and referenced to as a few different things. Uh, of course, this is a fixed-wing fighter. Uh, it's based off concept art for the Falcon from Halo Wars 1. Uh... Now, for me, this is something that is, in a way, much more exciting than having the Saber. Because, well, the Saber looks and is probably going to be fantastic just based off of what we've seen for it so far. Uh, this, functionally speaking, fits the role much better as a fixed-wing fighter and, like, a cast support vehicle than the Saber is. And, and uh, you know, this is a lot further off, so we're going to have the Saber probably, I would imagine, first before this thing. You never know with modding development and stuff like that. But I am excited to see this thing getting picked up on again. Uh, originally, this had been kind of started by White, but he's disappeared ages ago, and uh, this thing just, once again, got left in development hell, so... Uh, Hollywood picking up the uh, the reins on that, and uh, yeah, hopefully we actually get to see this thing carried through. And then we go back to Demonic once more, and this time for a structure. And uh, we have a bench. Um, it's a bench, not much else to say more about it. I've said it before time and time again in these videos. I just enjoy these small little props because they help really bring you know missions and stuff like that to life, make them feel a lot more Halo. Uh, this bench, maybe a little bit less so, just because this almost feels a little bit more... A little bit more modern, maybe. Uh, you know, I guess it still kind of stands out from, like, maybe a normal park bench or something. But uh, you guys get the idea. And then uh, we go on over to maps. And this is probably the biggest, most exciting news I have for you guys this week. We have a new Operation Trebuchet map out. And you guys can get this now off the workshop. This is Operation Trebuchet or Operation Wetlands. Uh, this is another map by Nido Wizard. This is based on installation 04 on the mission 343 guilty spark um now in order to play this map you have to get it as a separate download it's not included with the mod and it does require installation 04 to work i tried running it with just operation trebuchet and not installation 04 and it seemed to not load the forerunner buildings for some reason i don't know what that was about um, so it seems like you may actually have to run installation 04 in order for that to actually function properly. Uh, still, with that being said, this is an absolutely fantastic map. Now, there is some issues with it because of the water. Uh, AI pathing seems to get a little bit screwy in some places, and the AI kind of freak out and just don't really know what to do. But, uh, yeah, this could be a, a really great... Uh, map for like defensive missions and stuff. Some people have already been making, you know, missions based off 343 Guilty Spark and... I just love all of it. That's probably my favorite mission in all of Halo. Just atmosphere and everything for that mission is so fantastic. Uh, you know, and of course, you know, this is kind of a spoiler, but it's been so long I don't think it counts. Uh, you know, the the big twist with the flood and everything, you just know everything is, or something's off when you get here. And it's kind of creepy. This isn't quite as creepy as... Uh, as Guilty Spark was, but it's still fantastic, especially with the Forerunner buildings and everything. I'm just so excited for this map, and uh, I think it's actually pretty near completion, too, so we don't necessarily, we're not going to see a whole lot more from it, but 
whatever we do see from it, uh, if anything else, is going to be just fantastic as well, I think. Oh, and I should mention to you, before I go on to the next thing, uh, G.E.K. did the compositions for it, just so he gets some credit because uh, he, he did all the buildings, put those all together, and uh, obviously, you know, assembled all the pieces to make it look even more fantastic. Just to put that out there. All right, and then we go over to community stuff. As far as community stuff goes, we have Rapid Duck Sauce's Flood, and uh, we got some new textures here, putting a little bit of uh, red on the, the flood, a little bit of... Uh, tendrils and uh some veininess or whatever the red stuff is supposed to be in the flood who knows um it's all terrible because it's the flood and they're just going to infect you and uh, put that red stuff on like your chest or whatever you guys get to see that in uh, the different lod's and everything it just looks really good and then a little bit of a short video which is actually from a couple weeks ago that i unfortunately uh hadn't gotten up in my previous videos but here it is just a short little teaser of the flood basically using an attach to on something else to make it look uh like they're actually attacking the player uh then rabbit duck sauce also started a uh, flood carrier form he literally did this model in the course of probably 20 to 30 minutes during the live stream i was doing it was a very fast put together model and this isn't finalized yet so you guys can expect more changes in detailing obviously uh based off the infection form you guys can probably get a pretty good idea of what to expect from this once it's all completed and everything and then on the topic of carrier forms we have a flood transport which is kind of an interesting concept that he was sharing with me and uh it's just what it sounds like it's designed to transport flood uh this we probably won't ever see realistically if we do it's gonna be like a static prop or something that uh, it would work as a vehicle and everything. I mean, because it's got uh, legs instead of treads or wheels, it, I don't know how viable that would be. Uh, it's possible, though. But uh, yeah, definitely don't hold your breath on this one, guys. I do apologize for that. Uh, and then uh, our next thing is a new pelican from Decidious. Uh, so bear in mind, this is once again a community member, and he started work on the Halo Reach pelican with some additional modifications to its model. Uh, hopefully it gets this thing completed. The Pelican has needed an overhaul for a long time. Uh, it's one of the oldest assets in the mod, and it really hasn't been touched outside of a couple of minor adjustments years ago. And uh, Zephyr Soza did start the Halo 2 anniversary version of the Pelican, which I would love to see, probably even more so than the Halo Reach version, but the issue is, is that Zephyr really hasn't made any progress, at least not publicly on that uh, pelican so i'm not really holding my breath that we're going to see that thing completed so hopefully decidius gets his model completed and either joins the dev team with it and uh, we get this integrated in or he just releases it as a separate mod or something would even be okay with me and then that brings us to our last vehicle for the video guys and that is a vulture from eh or e eh, or uh eh. you know i don't know how he prefers to pronounce it but uh eh Anyways, uh, this vulture looks pretty good here. Um, I'm sure that somebody who's much better at modeling than me can maybe nitpick some stuff here, but, you know, it's it's a nice, solid model, it looks like. Uh, once again, we've had vulture started, uh, Zephyr started one ages and ages ago, which kind of got dropped off and forgotten about, and I think Hollywood may have started a very, very basic vulture, which I don't think he's really worked on too much. Uh, but here we have a near-complete model, and, uh, you know, obviously it still needs textures and materials and to be imported into the game. I don't really know what his plans for this thing are, unfortunately, in the long term, but uh, hopefully we end up seeing something with it. It also looks like the interior needs to still be modeled out. We have what appears to be an interior shot with a few different console screens and stuff kind of throughout the thing, which looks like it could be really interesting, but uh, not much else to say aside from that, I guess, on it. All right, guys, well... Uh, that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, of course, like always, I want to know what you guys are most excited for from not only today's video, but from all of Halo, what you guys want to see in the mod going into the future. Let me know in the comments below, guys. Other than that, take it easy.